something small around that as they try to make up for LeBron on both ends of the court, guys. A look course, much easier said than done. Yeah, it'll be a much different look tonight as McDermott, who's a great outside shooter, most in NBA history, three-time coach of the year, and the longest tenured coach among all four major it 22 straight seasons under Pop. Of course, Tim Duncan had a, quite a bit to do with that. DeJounte Murray with the score, 2-1. to one. As Richardson gets his first start in a spur uniform, and the leader is good. Remember, he came up. He might pop a three from uh, now and then, time and again. Here's Murray. He's got, he's got a triple double against the Lakers. He's in. It's Austin Reeves. Reeves was solid the other night against Golden State. Had a couple of huge offensive rebounds in that fourth quarter to give Lakers uh, a couple of opportunities that they cashed in on. He'll pull up Porter the key. It's good for Austin. That was a nice play. He recognized Monk on the break. Monk all the way. He scoops. He scores. And that's where, transition. And that's where the Lakers are going to have to deal. Skipping into the front court is Russ. He's in very deep. Gonna step away. Gotta get a bounce. And he's got it. And a good start for the Lakers. Make sure they keep the Spurs with one and out. DeJounte Murray will pull up in the lane is good. Boy, talk about a guy. So does Zach Collins. At the other end, it's McDermott all the way to score. All right, I thought on Reed's shot, but no whistle. So far, play on. Underneath is Dwight. He finishes with two hands. In the fourth quarter, seven Lakers actually played more time in the final frame, which was a back and forth affair. Murray again in the lane, and he scores. He has taken over. Him to go for 56, and then he quickly thought better of that. Uh, just thinking, okay, he wants the green light for Malik, but maybe not that green. Huge buckets in that Warrior game on Saturday. And THT aggressive to the rim, and he'll go to the line and shoot two. Good that the Lakers are attacking the paint the way they are, but they've got to start converting these free throws in order to make that a weapon. I mentioned Carmelo. He had 14 points, and those uh, two threes were when the Lakers needed the most. Six points during a 13-4 run right towards the end of the game. And the Lakers are down one with three and a half to play. Hey, if you need last-minute tickets to a game, Ticketmaster is the official resale ticket marketplace for the Lakers. For every Laker game, make sure to check out Ticketmaster.com for all your ticket needs. And rest assured, these tickets are 100% verified and secure. And the next home game will be on Friday night against Washington at Crypto.com Arena. Two free throws by THT. Lakers trail by two. And by the way, if you want to see the Lakers, you better get going here. They've only got six home games the entire season left. In the corner, that's going to be a shooter's touch that time, and a shooter is exactly how you describe McDermott. Well, the Lakers extended their defense in a semi-zone area, and that left the basket or the corner wide open for their shooter. THT all the way to the cup with authority to score. Lakers down by three. First quarter action, San Antonio rolling to the basket, throwing out of bounds. Another look at THT coming down the floor and doing what he does, and that's rim seat goes right to the front of the rim. Inside out, now attacking. Here's Reeves with a nice runner. Timeout, Greg Popovich. Good recognition by Reeves. If he takes one more dribble and goes a little further, he probably picks. Highly number five. Well, again, the Lakers extending their defense. So they got to make sure they can get back and cover the corners. Keldon Johnson, boy, he was a breakout candidate to begin this season, and he certainly lived up to that moniker. Collins underneath, of course, he's still trying to get his sea legs back and just all kinds of rhythm, and he hits that mid-range yeah, jump shot. It's been a while for him. He's been out for quite some time with various injuries, so it's going to take him a minute. He had 10 rebounds to tie career high in their last game. Monk, no, knocked out of bounds by Stanley Johnson. All right, this Spurs team, they've lost four in a row after winning four out of five, but three of those losses by six points or less. And that one's knocked out of bounds. They are currently 12th in the West. Went off the hands of Stanley Johnson on the missed shot. Lakers have to clean up that defensive glass. Well, DJ Augustine. I'll tell you what, before it's all said and done, DJ might play for every team in the league. Avery Bradley is back. Remember, he missed a few games with a knee injury. Lakers just snapped that four-game losing streak the other night, but they still have lost 11 to 15. Currently.
currently in the ninth spot. Four and a half back of the Clippers and a game and a half up on the Pelly in overtime to Denver. Heartbreaking loss for them. Yeah, Carmelo just called for a little hold when he was trying to prevent Collins from coming out, setting the screen. Primo went to Alabama. Again, youngest player in the league. Last year, he was the youngest player in all of college basketball. Bounce, baseline, cutting. Johnson, Lakers take it away. Malik Monk streaks into the front court. Monk looking to go all the way. Open is Carmelo. On its way, and down it goes. Well, that's a good guy to find in transition for the driving kick. And the Lakers have knotted it up at 18. Nobody has led by more than five in a quarter. And that's up and in by Murray. Or Johnson, right? Excuse me, Kelvin Johnson. Of course, he went to Kentucky, also Oak Hill Academy, prepping at that uh, great basketball school. Augustine, baseline, looks for the cutter, and that's Bradley too hot to handle out of bounds. It goes, turnover, Lakers. Yeah, right idea, uh, just a little, as you mentioned, a little high, a little too hot to handle. Look at Malik finding Carmelo for the triple. Carmelo doesn't let him down. Last time these two teams met was December 23rd. It was the last game at Staples Center. It was a 138-110 win by San Antonio. They were a plus 39 from downtown. That was the difference, hitting the three. And Stu talked about how that's a, a key tonight. Lakers had 18 made threes against the Warriors. Russ is going to check.